What is up you guys and thank you for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, this guy under. And today we got ourselves a match against Veria, or known as Vorli. Uh, she is one of those battlers I've been fearing to face off because, well, let's just face it, she is an incredible battler. I I can't really stress this enough. If you guys haven't battled her, make sure to do just that. Um, both Xenon and Anima has, have been asking me to battle her and I kind of held this off. We've been busy with other things. But also, I really just, when she asks, I'm just like, you know, get it a high pulse, like, N -n no, thank you. <laughs> but today I actually had the time, and um, I wanted to showcase my new team that I've been building on, so it's not complete by any means. But I got Pangoro, uh, a special uh, set of, um, what's it called? The fur coat book, damn it, fur throw. <laughs> and I got Dust Dogs, Go Goat, uh, which is the Titan Atlas set. Uh, Emolga and Malamar. And Malamar is a special set, uh, not special offensive, but especially bulky. It is built to um, bait Pokemon to stay in and then finish them off. Uh, she is using Miss Magius, which I hate so much. Uh, Glaceon, which I do expect the Scarf set, consider her team. Uh, Rapidash, major props for that. Uh, Meowstic, definitely a setupper. Hard to take down, actually, if you use it right. And she definitely does this this game. Uh, War Turtle and Dragonair. Both War Turtle and Dragonair are pokes that are especially bulky with Evilite, and um, I have to do my best against them. Uh, I'm gonna lead off here with Pangoro because he got the parting shot with Scarf, and basically if my matchup are, you know, not too good, then I'm going to do a parting shot, basically. So, other than that, like I said, I do fear her as a battler and a fair team. So, we see how this turns out. Let's do it! Pangora, go! So, I'm starting off real with Hill. She's gonna bring in the Dragonair right in the beginning. I'm just gonna go for a Storm Throw. I'm actually... You know, I'm thinking I'm in a two-hit range of taking her out. I am not. But the thing is, she got freaking Thunder Wave and, you know, being Scarfs and all... That is a problem. She basically took down my Pangoro in the first turn. So it doesn't matter if I'm able to, you know, do the amount of damage, I'm still in trouble. I'm gonna go with Molga here, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn, which is huge in this battle, because that will prove to be very useful against the Meowstic here. I'm actually a choice banded physical uh, Emolga, I just wanted to try that out, actually. Uh, I do get a crit, which is very, very unfortunate for her. And I go into Beatrix yet again, which is my Pangoro, and basically I'm just gonna go for Storm Throw. I don't expect it to stay in forcing her, really consider that I could go for Crunch, and that will easily take her out. So, War Total is coming in, and of course that does well enough. And she's gonna go for Brick Break, and that will take more than I'm comfortable with. I'm still yet to be fully paralyzed. Hex is working in my favor today, it really is, and War Total is all the way, and I have nothing to deal with this uh, Miss Mages at the moment, so I'm just gonna stay in, accept my defeat. So at this point we're all 5-5 five, five in, and Pangoro, my my sweeper basically, is gone. So I'm gonna bring for Grout here, and it basically just gonna force her off with Rock Slide. I am special defensively bulky, and it's gonna showcase here because I do nothing with this Rock Slide. And of course, left over, you know, basically never dented it. And I do expect to bring up either Thunder Wave, or she could go for what I think she's gonna do is Reflects. So with that in mind, I brought to Emolga in case to go for Thunder Wave. I'm actually gonna threaten her here because it, I'm, it seems very likely I will go for a U-turn. But I also packed a knock, uh, knock off, which will prove really useful because Rapid Dash is coming in, so I do knock off the Life Orb. And it's gonna prove to do some damage because that means I can bring in my Fur Throw or the Bird Fished, which is specially <laughs> oriented at this time. And just take the Flare Blast. It does below half, which means I can stay in and chill. And I was hoping, you know, I do over predict a lot this battle, and I was really hoping that she's gonna switch out to Miss Mages. So I went for Dark Pulse, and of course, that do nothing, basically. So I'm just, I'm definitely sure she's gonna stay in here, so I'm just gonna go for a Surf, and the will wisp will wear me down, most definitely. And she shows me in the Morning Sun. That is a problem, because that means that this thing will fight another day. Even though I do over half of the amount of damage, it's still in the range where I'm not comfortable I can stay around. Though I am, I'm do gonna go for that Surf yet again, because I've seen no reason not to. And she's gonna bring the Dragonair as fodder, but look at this. Look at this! It freaking lives! So that means the Will-O-Wisp will take a hold of me even more, 
So I'll do, I do finish it off with an accurate voice, which is the premise of this bit, it's basically it's all about uh, getting the accurate voice uh, stacked up. But as long as she got mass medias, there is no reason or way for me to take it off. So she's gonna bring the Glacey on here and I basically just accept my defeat at this point and going to bring in my uh, um, my Malmar basically. And I'm gonna hope that she's gonna switch out so I do go for a Night Slash. She stays in actually. Um, and something weird here is gonna happen. I do hit the Night Slash but that's not the problem. The problem is that she misses the other Frost Breath. I didn't think that was possible. Plus, I go for my superpower and I get a crit on this, so I don't know, it seems kinda reversed and it's definitely gonna showcase throughout this battle that this was a very huge decisive point really. So I do get my my best of abilities boosted of course, attack and defense. She's gonna bring in the Miss Ma or the um, Miss Majors here, and uh, this is the premise. This is where I built this um, Malmar in the beginning with, and that was because I really, really want a special defensive oriented assault with the Malamar to be able to bait in Miss Majors, make them say in, and then finish them off. And it worked in my favor very well here. And I do expect her to bring the ref Reflect here, so I went for Super Power to build up because I do expect the Thunder Wave. She packs the Toxic. That's annoying. That's extremely annoying because that puts my uh, Malamar on a timer and uh, there is no way for me to actually go around it. And she will actually showcase it got Substitute too. So when I go for the finish here uh, with the Night Slash, she'll actually set up a freaking doll in front of me and I'm able to comprehend the, the sheer awesomeness of this build really. I mean this Meow Stick really puts up a good work of not being taken out and that's incredible. I do tip my hat for you Varley because that that set might actually be a very very good stall set so even if I'm able to finish it off I paid a high price and that is that my Malamar is going down without a doubt. I have no way of surviving that toxic and basically she only got the Rapid Dash left so I'm just gonna bring in my Go Goat, which is fully healthy at this point, and basically I'm just going to try to bait her to go into Flare Blitz because Flare Blitz uh, will definitely take me out, consider the amount of investment I got in my bulk, really. So of course she goes for Flare Blitz, which will be well and more than enough to kill my Go Goat, but it will also finish her off because with my HP she basically do 110 in um, recall damage and it will prove to be more than enough to kill her so yeah I mean I got my Amolga and Dustox left and I don't think they would be able to do anything against this rabbit I should be honest uh, I probably outspeed with Amolga but I'm not sure I could have taken it out so other than that really very uh, thank you so much for this battle it was a very very fun one and you definitely had me you know on the tip of my seat the whole game and yeah GG basically, I mean, I had, to be very honest here, I mean, going down to the details, that superpower crit in combination with the Frost Breath miss actually meant a lot, even though I think my Malmark could have taken um, a Dazzling Gleam from the Miss Majus, I still believe that your Meowstick would have been able to recover fairly, because none of my folks would have been able to dent it that well, and uh, I only got the Molg of that, and I mean, ugh, ish. I still need to keep my Gogot intact, and I wonder if I ever could be able to do that. Uh, so other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I said to Verly here, wow, what a game. And I was definitely, definitely uh, threatened for a long time there. And I mean, my Pangoro dented that early with Thunder Wave really puts me, puts me on the edge of my seat, basically. So, yeah. I want to thank you guys for watching, as always. You know, don't forget to leave a like if you like this battle if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I mean, it's a great channel. Come on, what's your problem? Um, and yeah, don't don't forget about it. The sky is the limit. So other than that, guys, take care. Have a nice day and night. Take care. Bye.